Hey there, welcome to the ICR20 instruction manual in video, I would say. Uh, this is a series of videos on how to use uh, your ICOM ICR20 to the fullest. So if you have one, you could actually take it and watch this video and uh, just turn it on and uh, follow the instructions and uh, you can watch this video over and over again if something uh, was missing or you uh, didn't understand. And of course you can uh, also uh, send any comments or questions you might have regarding this video and all the videos I'll be making. So today the first video will uh, actually just look at how to uh, turn it on, input a frequency and choose the mode that you want to listen to. Um, we're going to start with that which is the very, very basic usage of this radio. So to turn on the radio, well actually you got the little red button right here on the upper right of your radio. You press and hold until you hear the little beeps. And here we go. We've got a radio that's turned on. To enter a frequency that you want to listen to, suppose that you want to listen to a ham radio repeater in the 2 meter band, well maybe you know that frequency. Uh, I'll input one here that I uh, know the frequency. 146.700. So what do you do? You simply press 146. Then you do the dot. 700. Zero. And you hear the little beep that confirms that the input is accepted and you see on the display the 146.700. Now most FM 2 meters um, frequencies are in FM mode so to change the mode all you have to do is do a quick press. When you do a quick press on the top row third button from the left you've got mode scan this lets you choose what mode if you do a quick press so let's do a quick press and you'll see that at the top of the display here presently it says FM which is a good mode but if you want to change it a quick press will change it wide FM AM LSB for lower sideband USB for upper sideband CW mode if you're in Morse code for example you want to listen to Morse code signals and if you press again it comes back to FM now most of the 2 meter ham band is in FM so you will want to choose FM another frequency we might want to input let's say we want to listen to a frequency in the commercial UHF band around 450 megahertz uh, one frequency that I know that sometimes has activity uh, I'll just enter 451.0 and here we go and now I'm on that frequency of 451 megahertz keep in mind to adjust the volume level it's on the upper left you've got the two buttons here on the left side is the volume so you can see that it turns on or off on the right side, it's the frequency VFO. If you know, remember these radios have this tuning control that you actually turn to change the frequency. Well, it's the upper right button in this case. So you just turn it and it actually changes the frequency that you're listening to. So it's like the tuning dial of a radio, same, same function. And of course, clockwise goes up in frequency, counterclockwise goes down in frequency. So that's uh, the way to do it. So remember, left button for volume, right button for the uh, dial, just tuning around. Now you want to listen to signals on maybe the short wave bands and um, you say well um, I think there's something I might be able to listen to on uh, the 2 meter uh, the 40 meters hand band for example which is at 7 megahertz all you'll have to do is just press 7 
dot 200 for example and you have confirmation that the frequency is right now if you want to take out or on the squelch because there's a squelch and it might be a problem in the listening uh, keep in mind that you can actually hold the upper button here and while you're tuning the right dial button you see that it has auto mode and it's got levels but you can also put it open which means that it will actually uh, be off so when it opens it's off frequencies in the 40 meter handband I don't know if we heard, will hear something but it's a lower sideband so we'll quick press until we see LSB and all you have to do start tuning around on um, the frequencies not much I can hear at this time especially with little telescopic antenna I have it's not really uh, the best so uh, this is really the basic features um, if you want to go into the gigahertz range same thing you just enter uh, for example I have a um, a uh, 2000 megahertz frequency I would like to enter 2415 that's 2.4 gigahertz all you have to do 2415.000 I want to put back the squelch what I do I go back to that upper button here and turn the right dial button on the top to auto so that it's automatic so basically that's really the most basic of operations you just learn how to input a frequency how to choose what mode you want to receive and how to take on or off the squelch depending on what you're listening to there's gonna be more about the squelch and talk about squelch uh, in the uh, upcoming videos so this is first video and uh, well play with your uh, little radio and if you um, missed out on something well look at the video again and again and just uh, you know tune around your ICOM ICR20 receiver it's made for that it's made to listen to lots and lots of signals so this is part one of the basic operations and there's gonna be a multi-part uh, there's lots of little basic things to know about the ICOM ICR20 receiver. If you enjoyed these videos, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of all the videos we put online. And if you have any comments or questions, hey, let us know and we'll try to answer all the questions if possible. So thanks for watching, 73s.